Hey guys and girls, my name's Dan. Welcome back to The Forge. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this replica of a 14th century candlestick holder. I'd really like it if you could join me at the end of the video where I'll be talking about a bit of a challenge that I've got regarding said project and some other YouTubers that you might know at home. And also, I will tell you more about how you can win this hammer in the TMIB raffle that I'm currently running. Link to that is also in the description if you're curious now. This is 25 by six millimeter mild steel. It's 100 mil long and I've marked from one end 35 millimeters and put two center dot marks. In order to make the candlestick holder, you're gonna to need to gather up some very basic blacksmithing tools. You will need a vise of some description, a post vise, leg vise, um, but an engineer's vise or a bench fitting vise, that would work just as well. You're gonna to need to find yourself a straight peen or a cross peen hammer. Uh, this will become clear as we move through the process and a straight or a cross peen is super necessary for this particular process. You're also going to need to find yourself uh, some sort of hot cut, hardy cut or a chisel of some description that has a flat edge. We need a relatively flat cut. And in order to do some of the set downs, I made a little set of spring fillers. I will be showing how to make this uh, set of spring fillers in an up and coming Patreon video. Um, I don't know when that will be up, but it will be up very soon. That will be for Patreons only. Just gonna find my center dot marks. I'm gonna have them Just behind the fullers, take a soft mallet, rotate that round, get a nice even start. Like so. You want to fuller in about half the thickness of your fillers, spring fillers. And then just flatten the center down on the anvil. I turn the work round now and I'm gonna start working the other end. I'm gonna draw out this material. I need to take it to eight mil square. I'm now going to take the corners off for about 60 mil from the set downs and bring this to an octagon. So now I'm going to take a straight pin and I'm going to start working on pulling out the material to make uh, the part that will become the candlestick holder or the candle holder. And I'm also going to use Okay, and in order to keep a nice good transition, I'm going to come up onto the horn a bit and I'm going to knock that in. 
and that should hopefully help me keep a nice transition here and then also allow me to flatten the body out just a little bit to get a bit more length. And this sometimes is a little bit easier to work in these colder heats. You can also bring it up onto the handle face and use the round side of a hammer to drop the Okay, let's round this up. Now the easiest way to do this is to use the shelf on your anvil or put something in the hardy to create a second side and then basically using circle motions like this you are able then to start radiusing up that, um, that spade that you've got and then using the hammer Start bringing those sides in, and then once you're starting to get some sides going, start using those two sides again, and then start doing that, and this will start creating a nice radius, which we'll be able to use a drift in a minute just to get to the right size. Work down into those colder heats. And then and again, just uh, get that started and rounded up. Just going to grab a round drift, any old round drift will do. And then start just locking that onto there. Start rounding this top part up to start with. All nice and uniformed and even. And then the same on the opposite side. Now I'm happy to do this because this is tapered, but I want to try and get a nice shape on there. Whew. And then just one more last round this way round. Just to make sure. It's all nice and tidy. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is take this end down to a taper. I'm going to go square taper to start with. And then octagon, I'm going to take these edges off, the corners off, sorry. Put down the length. Concentrate right up where I want the transition to be. And then I'm going to start. edges off and then start rounding this up by taking the corners off the corners or the corners off the octagon sorry working up and down that length and then just at the transition point I'm going to work around in a circle just make sure that's looking nice and tidy 
with no weird lumps or anything. And then as I work in rounds, I'm going to work down, making sure everything looks nice and smart, nice and tidy. Okay, if you did everything right, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. It's nice and rounded up here, it's square here, and then it's rounded up again on the end. And then that's your candle holdery bit. Okay? I've got just under 200 there, so I'm going to find the centre, which is about 10. So that should be the centre. And then what I'm going to do is on that, I'm going to add 15 mil up. So I should, when I bend this over, he says, I'm going to cut this. And when I bend it over, I should have a piece sticking out the top. Uh, I'm also going to cut it on the opposite side. I'm going to cut it on this side here. I'm going to just pop, pop a chisel cut in there, bend that over and then that will be ready for the fire weld. Take my chisel. I know this is a cold chisel. I can't find the other one. I'm going to come in about a third of material, leave it at that. And then I'm just going to just going to bend that up like so. And then lastly, I'm just going to grab this here in the vise, nice and tight. I'm then going to bend this end down and then bring this up like so. Putting a bit of downward pressure on there. And then I'm going to take it over to the anvil and just straighten it up and make it look nice and tidy. This is a great project if you're a beginner. There's loads of aspects of it that are super, super helpful if you're trying to build 
your skill repertoire up just a notch. Uh, they're simple to make. Uh, they're really uh, easy to make once you know how to make them. There's stock estimation, there's stock drawing out, so there's forging, both square, round section, uh, and square tapers, round tapers, all that stuff, so that's lovely. Uh, there's the double little set down that you have to cope with, there's the splaying out the little bit for the cup to hold the candle, and then there's the fire world. So basically, all round, good, lovely little project if you are a beginner. Now this is where I'd like to talk about my challenge. Um, I was recently given this as a task to perform as part of an interview process for Hereford College of Blacksmithing or School of Blacksmithing and that's fine. I really, they said do this as a teaching, little mini teach uh, and show people how to make it and I thought yes, yeah, really simple project and then I read the rest of the sentence. You must complete this task in 20 minutes. That means I have to mark it out, get it hot, stick it in the fire, make it and teach what I've just shown you on this video in 20 minutes. And that is the challenge that I'd like you guys and girls at home to have a go at. Now, if you do want to have a go, the rules are very simple. There's no prizes or anything for this, just the glory of knowing that you made it faster than I did. But there are some rules. The first rule is it has to look like and be as close as possible to the tolerances in the drawing. I'll show that drawing now, but I should have shown it earlier on in the video as well. The second rule is you are only allowed to video the attempt. You can't do it more than once. You can practice this as much as you like. You can practice it a hundred times, a thousand times if you want to, but you can only video it once. If you burn it in that video, that's it. That's your attempt. That's rule number two. So one video, only one video is allowed. You must post an unedited version of the video. Now by unedited, I mean you cannot cut out any of the intervals between the fire. So you have to show all 20 minutes of the entirety of the video. You can speed it up and you can do like close-ups and times in as long as it doesn't look like there's been any kinds of jump cuts or edits or fades or anything like that. That's not allowed but you can speed it up and you can do some bits. You can copy the way that I've done my video, basically. And lastly, the 20 minute rule. I didn't manage to do this in 20 minutes. I have done it, I did it in 19 seconds, 40 something, 45, which was my last practice before my interview. I then did it on the interview in 20 minutes and 15 seconds. And today I've done it in 21 minutes and 48 seconds. So I'm not far off, I'm kicking around there. That's my entry into the competition. Now I'd like to create a little bit of a leaderboard and I'd also like to give a prize to someone if we do manage to get a leaderboard together. Uh, but there are some conditions. The first one is I will give a prize if we get at least 30 entries. So that's 30 candlesticks need to arrive here in this workshop. So I'll give addresses to people if they do enter the competition. 30 videos need to be present on YouTube and part of the playlist that I'll create regarding this video. And then I will find some external judges because obviously I've entered. I'm the first person to enter with my time and my candlestick holder, not this one, the other one. Uh, but I will find some external judges to judge it. And the judging criteria for the winner is the fastest time with the most accurate candlestick holder. That's the most important thing. Fastest time, most accurate candle holder. So if yours is really lumpy and really rough, rough, but you did it in 20 minutes, well congratulations, but that might not be the winner. So we'll work out some sort of point system for that 10 points X, 10 points Y, whatever. We'll try and do something to make it nice and fair. Good luck if you do enter. Now I've got one more thing to talk about just before we finish that. In order to get the ball rolling on this project, I'd like to nominate a couple of friends of mine to have a go at the project. Uh, you may also know them, they are fellow YouTubers and blacksmiths alike. Um, I'm going to nominate Alex from Valhalla Ironworks, Hans from Charming Hollow Forge, Roy from Christ Centered Ironworks and John from Black Bear Forge. Now I don't think this project sits outside the realms of their channels as it is and I know every single one of them can complete the task but can they do it in 20 minutes and can they make a video? Uh, we will see. I don't know if they're going to do it, I haven't asked them yet but we will see. Right, this really bad camera angle is what I'm going to be using because you can see the anvil, the fire and my phone which is down here. The only thing you won't see me doing is working at the leg vice which is, I know is a little bit annoying uh, but I don't want to be messing around moving the camera around. 
I've got my material cut, it's already marked up. Uh, it's not hot, so that's part of the criteria. It gets hot during your first 20 minutes. So I'm gonna get everything turned on, ready to go, and then I'll start uh, filming. I will post this footage somewhere in its entirety so you can watch me panic like a little girl.
Well, failed. Uh, got 21, 48, uh, nearly 49. So yeah, uh, not an easy task. I did on my interview, I managed to do that at uh, 20.15. 20 minutes and 15 seconds, I think. And I have done it previously in 19 seconds. So it is doable. <laughs> this isn't particularly pretty. Um, it's not a great job, uh, but I got it done. 21 minutes, 22, call it 22 minutes. Uh, yeah, so your turn. That's it for today. Thank you for joining me. If you do participate, I will put your, uh, your channel link or the video link at least in the description. And also I will add it to the playlist that will go with this video um, and yeah that's everything so thank you so much for joining me I do hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and if you are a subscriber why not ring that bell for notifications it tells you every time I make a video make a video about once a week sometimes a bit more sometimes a bit less depends on how busy I am if you'd like to support me and this channel in any way shape or form there's a few things you can do you could share this video with your friends and on other platforms you can also drop down into the comment section and say hello uh, leave a comment about the project, tell me what you thought of my stupid challenge uh, and whether or not you think 20 minutes is a long time or not. And if you'd like to help out a bit more, you can support me by heading over to our shop and buying one of the raffle tickets to win said lovely circle rounder hammer jobby. Uh, this is three and a half pounds, this one, so she's a big girl and she came out very nice. Uh, there's still tickets available for that. You can also uh, head over to the uh, Instagram where you can DM me check out some of the stuff and the projects that we've got on the go and also keep up with the stories. There's been some really good ones this last couple of weeks. So I've really enjoyed doing the Insta. Um, and that is everything. Again, thank you so much for joining me. I'll leave a link up here to a video that YouTube thinks is good for you. This one down here is the most recently done one. This one over here is the full length version of me doing the challenge. And that up there is the subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me. Goodbye.